So as we knew, David Price was confirmed for the Liverpool card on the 30th of March, which was going to be headlined by Liam Smith versus Sam Egerton. Well, now his opponent has just been announced, and his opponent, I'm on his box rec here, is a guy called Cash Ali. All right, he's 27 years old, doesn't give his height, but he is 14 and 0 with six knockouts. So, not a particularly big puncher, but you never know a pricey. But looking through his box rec, I have his box rec open here on my iPad. There is literally nobody on his record that I, I could say is you know decent. He's got a win over Sakalowski, Kamal Sakalowski. Uh, that was a, a close fight, actually, you know, it was 39-38, so close fight there. Knocked out David Howe last March. I think everyone's knocked out David Howe at this stage. And there's not really anybody on his box wreck, to be honest with you. He fought the same guy in his first five pro fights. He fought the same guy three times. Some guy called James Alphinet. Okay, so not really much to go on, this Cash Ali guy. Seems a very kind of... Seems a limited heavyweight, just judging by his box rec. I've never seen him fight, so you could prove me wrong. But, you know, it doesn't seem to be too much of a threat. Um, you know, he, he's not, there's no height listed, but he looks kind of... He's not fat, but he looks not in the best shape. 250, 240, the high 250s. Okay, so he's probably not in the best shape either. And, uh, yeah, that's who David Price is going to fight next. Now, David Price, is this a comeback trail? Is this, you know, him trying to secure a big fight? I thought he'd done very well against Sergei Kuzman when they fought on the AJ Pavekin undercard. And even the Pavekin fight when they fought on the AJ Parker undercard, I thought he was doing quite well. But, you know, obviously at the end of the day, those chin issues become apparent. And, you know, I think Price had an injury in the um, Sergei Kuzman fight. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, David Price, he got that win over Tom Little there before Christmas. And now he's fighting again, it seems, against this Cash Ali guy. So where's this going? Is, you know, he looking to face the winner of maybe Dave Allen versus Lucas Brown? That'd be a fun fight. You know, Lucas Brown and Dave Allen's a fun fight. But Dave Allen versus David Price, I could see that fight being entertaining. Lucas Brown versus David Price, I could definitely see that fight being entertaining. David Price should win both them fights if they were made. In particular, the Lucas Brown fight. The Lucas Brown fight against David Price would be very, very entertaining. Purely because David Price should win that fight. Lucas Brown is very limited. Especially now that he's, you know, pushing 40. But he can punch. It's a bit like Amir Khan, you know. He could fight someone very limited. But if they can punch, you're always wondering, you know, if he gets tagged in the chin, what might happen? So I think that's kind of where you know, David Price, he still has a big following in Liverpool, at least. He's still known to the general public. Just for reasons like that, he's entertaining. He's value for money. And you never quite know what you're going to get with him. It's like, you know, I don't know what's the word, but it's like you're watching it with one hand, with one hand behind your eye nearly because... You just, you're waiting for that shot to land and you're thinking, you know, who's going to land it first? Is it going to be Pricey getting laid out or Pricey laid out his opponent? So, very interesting fighter to watch Price. But, uh, yeah, this Cash Ali guy, you know, judge, judging by his box rec anyway, it doesn't seem like he's the greatest. doesn't seem like he's got a stellar resume. So, he's be very inactive, actually, to be fair. You know, there's gaps of, like, a year or two in between some of his fights. So, you know, doesn't seem to be the most active guy in the world. So, I, I can imagine David Price should win this fight reasonably comfortably. So, anyway... Those are my thoughts on this. Leave yours down below. Has anyone ever heard of this guy? Because I had never heard of him before this. He actually has a fight lined up in February. Actually, he's a fight lined up... When's the 15th? Next week. Next Friday. Next Friday against a guy called Colin Butch. Colin Butch Goldhawk. Okay. So, anyway. Those are my thoughts on this. Uh, leave yours down below. And as always, hope you enjoy this video. And as always, I will talk to you later.